As the Pakistan Tariq Saf continues its protests in Islamabad, questions are being raised about the sudden disappearance of Haiber Pakhtunwa Chief Minister Ali Amid Gandapur. There was speculation that he may have been arrested by the police. The authorities have now said that he is not under arrest. They have asserted that the firebrand politician is in self-imposed hiding. The law and order situation in Islamabad remains precarious as supporters of Imran Khan tried to stage a protest at D. Chok, adding or amid the imposition of Section 144. However, Gandapur sudden disappearance from the protest site has surprised many. Meanwhile, the Pakistani army continues to be deployed in the Twin Cities to secure security ahead of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization's meeting. On Saturday, Pakistan's Interior Minister Mohsin Nakvi said that over 80 police personnel were injured in clashes with supporters of Imran Khan taking part in the march. Nakvi claimed that the convoy of Pakistan Tariq e Saf was heavily armed and the supporters of Imran Khan continuously fired on the unarmed police. The minister says more than 500 people have been arrested, adding that strict action will be taken against them. The army has sealed off Islamabad ahead of a series of top-level diplomatic events scheduled over the next two days and weeks, including the SCO summit, which will also have India's foreign minister, Dr. S. J. Shankar, in attendance. Our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik is now joining us live from Islamabad. Hi, Anas. Good to see you. Tell us the latest on what is happening in Islamabad and um, about the protests. Well, Eric, uh, I'm standing at the D-Chalk here, which is the main protest site of the PTI protests. Uh, they had announced it for the 4th of October. Today is the 6th, so about 48 hours passed. Uh, and in, after intense clashes, it won't be wrong to say that there are no PTI supporters practically present here. What you see behind me, I'll just get aside for the benefit of our viewers, is the military that has been deployed beyond them, or up on those containers, as, as the viewers can see as well. That is the Pakistani paramilitary military that is the rangers and beyond these containers is the red zone uh, across uh, is uh, where i'm standing is the d chalk and this is the jinnah avenue uh, this road that is coming in where you see the cameras coming in that is the jinnah avenue that comes in from sector f8 and uh, other sectors towards the red zone and d chalk and across the road i'll just walk across there are some police personnel uh, this is the road that goes from the d chalk towards uh, the Jinnah Avenue and onwards to these sectors. Now, all of this, just the blue area and uh, roads going towards and from D Chalk that remain blocked. The rest of the city that is currently open, uh, containers, blockades have now finally been lifted. Uh, over 700 people have been arrested off late. Just a short while back, we saw about 30 odd PTI supporters being arrested there in that prison van. If my camera person can show you as well, that is the prison van uh, where those PTI supporters who were just recently arrested from this protest site uh, they're there now the government has vowed that uh, this is an illegal protest this is an unauthorized protest and that they will not allow anyone to disrupt the peace uh, and calmity of the city mm -hmm. and that is the reason they do they're taking this action the interior minister on his part had made it abundantly clear so had the IG inspector general of the Islamabad police uh, what we have also heard is that the chief minister of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa uh, Ali Amin Khan Gandapur, the government has said that he is not under uh, their arrest or any other institution's arrest. That has been, that the line has been taken very clearly. So right now the million dollar question is where is the Chief Minister of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa? He's been missing for over 24 hours. The PTI alleges that he had been taken under arrest, but the government, just a short while back, about two hours ago, Mohsin Nakwi, while addressing a press conference, he's the Interior Minister, he made it clear. Uh, he was addressing a press conference post the funeral of a policeman who was martyred during these protests. The funeral was held right here where I'm standing at the d -chalk, attended by the Interior Minister the, uh, Mohsin Nakwi, mm -hmm. Governor of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Chief Chief Commissioner of Islamabad, Mohammad Ali Randawa, IG Police of Islamabad, Ali Nasser Rizvi, and other senior officials. So all in all, for now, at least for now, there seems to be some sense of calm compared to what we saw in the past 48 hours or so. Eric? All right, that is our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik. Anas Malik, we'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much for talking to us today.